So you, the fans, have been voting for your player of the year. It was a close vote this year, uh, but we do have a winner. We're going to name them shortly. I'm delighted uh, to say that we've got the MK Dons manager, Russell Martin, with us and Christine Hallett from Options Pensions. Good evening to you both. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, Christine, we'll come to you first. Uh, how are you and Options Pensions doing at the moment? We're doing good. We've been locked down since March, so the team have been working from home. We're sort of putting plans in place to slowly return to work and get some normality back in play. But um, yeah, everyone's been doing very well. well. Brilliant. And you've sponsored the awards for a number of years. Obviously, this year it's quite different for obvious reasons. It's been done virtually. Uh, but what has it meant to you to be able to sponsor the awards again and, and bring it back to the fans again this year? Well, I think the um, awards um, evening is just a really good um, sort of good end into what normally is just a a fantastic um, season and yes we've had our ups and downs along the way but um, this year was going to be quite ex exciting because obviously Russell had come in and and there's definitely a whole sort of new shape and liveliness and energy in the team and we're all really getting excited it's a shame we can't see the end of the season but um, you know I think it's made um, it really exciting to look forward to next season whenever that gets started again and we're really pleased as a company to be um, continuing sponsoring uh, the club and the players. Yeah, thank you Christine, it's fantastic. Russ, uh, let's move on to you. We caught up last week on the MK Dons Fans Forum and we spoke many times about you know, the support of the fans and particularly uh, the sponsors. We've spoke to a number of them uh, this evening, of course Christine from Options Pensions with us. Uh, recap again for us what it's like to have this support. Uh, it's huge for us, yeah. I think now more than ever we need our, you know, our partners and our sponsors and the people that have been on the on a journey, you know, for some of them for a very long time with the football club. Um, and I know it's difficult time and challenging for everyone, especially uh, in business at the moment. But um, I think, you know, people like Christine and, and, and the other companies that have been there and, and supported us even through this period and, off, and pledged their support already for next season, it makes a huge difference to the football club. Um, I know, you know, speaking, I don't need to speak on behalf of the chairman and Andy and people like that, but I know they're extremely grateful for it and they've said it many times themselves and we are as well. And I think, you know, if players weren't aware of how important that sponsorship is, that partnership is, that community are to a football club uh, before this period, then after this period, they certainly will know and they'll certainly appreciate it and they'll be grateful for it. So, um, yeah, we, you know, as Christine said, the end of the season, you know, the past, it's usually celebrating or, you know, putting a, a drawing a line under what's happened uh, throughout the season. Unfortunately, we can't do that, but to be able to celebrate it in some way or, or the players that have helped us, you know, stay in the league and, and done brilliant um, for us. Um, it's nice to have something to uh, to help that. We spoke last Saturday about it being a busy 10 months for you. Uh, we can now call the 2019-20 season last season. Uh, Russ, what's your main thoughts then on, on last season? Of course, it was the year that you became the manager. Yeah, of course. It was... Um, it's uh, it's a huge one in terms of my career. Obviously, I finished playing after a long time playing, um, and then obviously got the opportunity to become manager. As I said to you last week, I was really proud and grateful of. Um, but yes, yeah, it's, it's been uh, it's been hectic. It's been intense, and I'm I'm just now look, really looking forward to to moving on and, and and improving and and looking forward to next season. But it's a season of, of huge amount of learning for me, um, you know, on and off the field uh, about myself and about. Uh, being a manager about what it's going to take and, and what I want moving forward and, um, and as I said last week to you I'm extremely grateful for everyone's support the fans the players and the brilliant staff that uh, I've got supporting me and, and, and helping me so um, yeah I'm just looking forward to next season now Yeah brilliant the excitement is definitely building for next season uh, thanks again for you both for joining us uh, let's uh, get then to the uh, big award of tonight it's now time to reveal who the fans have chosen for player of the year Christine can you do the honours for us please I'd be delighted. The Player of the Year Award goes to Alex Gilby. It's back-to-back -back Player of the Year honours for MK Don's number eight. After winning it last season, you've again chosen Alex as your standout performer. And we're now joined by Player of the Year. What does it mean to win the award again? 
Oh, to be fair, I'm absolutely chuffed. Um, really proud moment for me. Um, and obviously, thank you to the fans who voted it. Excellent. So you're into your third season with the MK Dons. How much have you enjoyed playing football here at Stadium MK? Do you know what? I've absolutely loved it. I think um, I've made a lot of friends for life. Obviously, now, nah, third season, I know a lot of the fans um, get on well with the chairman. So it's been really good. So um, I'm looking to enjoy next season as well. Brilliant. Uh, congratulations again on the award. Uh, Russ, you must be delighted for Alex uh, to have him in your team. Yeah, he's been, a, um, as I said that just a minute ago, huge congratulations to him. He's been a, a really big part of what we're doing and what we're trying to build on and off the pitch. So, um, and I've told him you know, over the phone recently how grateful we are for that. Some of his performances were outstanding. And I still think he's got um, loads, of, loads more to come as well. And he knows that. And uh, hopefully we'll get even more out of him this season coming. So I'm looking forward to seeing that. But yeah, can, big congratulations to him. And, um, you know, really uh, appreciate everyone who voted. And also um, appreciate his performances for us uh, over the course of the last three or four months as well. Brilliant. Thank you, Russ. And uh, Alex, it's obviously been a difficult time for so many people. Uh, how desperate are you to get back onto the field? Yeah, really desperate. I think it's been, it's been a long, hard couple of months for a lot of people. And I think, um, I think we can start seeing the end, end line now, which is really good. I think um, we were in a really good place before this happened. Obviously, thankful Russ and Luke come in and done what they've done for us because we were in a bit of a pickle before. But um, I think we just can't wait now to get back and really crack on. And next season, you never know what's going to happen. Like, we're positive, um, we're excited. And I think we should be um, the top end of the table instead of where we are now. Yeah, definitely. Hopefully, pre-season is uh, just around the corner. Well, thanks, everyone, for joining us uh, this evening. Christine, Russ and Alex... Uh, all the best for the coming weeks.